This is just going to be talking about the artist. I'm going to do another video to talk about how to execute the project. There's so many fun connections this week with this impressionist. I wanted to spend a little bit more time. You do not have to spend this much time when you're introducing your lesson, but this is great information if you want to go over it at home on how all of these impressionists are connected. Um, I probably, I would love to share all this information when I'm teaching my class, but we'll probably not have the time to go over all this. So here we have our artist card. She was born in France and lived between 1841 and 1895. Her mother provided art lessons for her. Female artists during this time were very rare. So in her 20s, she started visiting museums, one of those being the Louvre, which we saw other artists that we've studied doing that as well to learn about and copy the other great artists that were on display. In about 1868, she, while she was at the Louvre, she met Edward Manet. Now, do you remember when we were looking at Monet, I mentioned, hey, there's another guy that lives in the same country, but his name is Manet, M-A-N-E-T. So this is Monet that we did last week, but Manet. She met Manet. She ended up marrying Manet's younger brother and they had one daughter, Julie Manet. Now, Mrs. Morzo loved um, painting. Here we have, she, oh, she was on the back of the artist card. She was telling Mr. Manet, you need to go paint outside. A lot of her, you'll see some of her works outside, but a lot of them she was depicting more relationships. She loved light colors and quick sketch-like strips, which we're gonna work on today. She painted with oils, pastels, and watercolors. She loved domestic scenes with children and women. Her pieces sold at very high prices while she was living, um, sometimes even more so than her male counterparts. The French critics loved her style. Now, let's talk about the connections between her. So, here we have the picture, the two photographs of her. And here's probably her most infamous painting. It's called The Cradle, and she painted this in Paris in 1872. And this one shows the artist's sister, Edmo, watching over her sleeping daughter, Blanche. So, they would have their friends or family pose for them so they could paint. Now inside, here we have her picture. If we remember the last two artists, which were Monet and Degas, where did Degas go? There he is on the bottom. We had photographs of them. All of these people were living in France. All of these are impressionists and they all knew each other. So we have two photographs. Here we have a painting. This painting it's called Birth Morzo with a bouquet of violets. And it is painted by Edward Manet. So here is the full picture because it says detail on here. So we know that's not the full picture or the full painting. And so this was not Monet, but this was Manet. So her brother-in-law painted this of her. And the way that I told you, you could distinct a Monet from a Manet is that Mr. Claude Monet was typically outside and depicted, had a lot of color and light in his, like just happy, like good feelings. Mr. Manet, he painted um, a lot of people and a lot of times you may see his settings in the outdoors, but he loved the color black. As you can see here, he used a lot of dark colors. So Manet, Monet. All right. Here we have a self-portrait that she painted of herself. So this is called Self-Portrait by Berthe Morzo. Here we can see a lot of the brush-like strokes, sketch-like strokes. So here's a comparison of the two. You can see the face structures are similar, even kind of the way that they're posing, but very different feels of the brush strokes. Here it's very smooth and a clean edge. And here we've got a lot of energy and we've got color 
and that whole impressionist thing of like, this is not very crisp. It is an impression of her. And remember we said that her daughter, she had one daughter, and of course, since she had her daughter there at home, then she used her as a subject. This one's called Julie Daydreaming by Mrs. Morizzo. So this is her daughter. Here we have the title, Julie Manet. This is a painting by Renoir. We don't study him, but he was another impressionist during that time. And so it's fun to see like all of these artists, Degas and Monet, Manet and Morizzo were spending time together discovering these loose brush strokes and this color and this light. And so she appears in other people's work because they are all living and working together. Okay, and the last painting that I have, this one is called Eugene Manet. So this was Mrs. Morizot's husband. There were three Manet brothers and Edward Manet was the oldest and was the most famous for his artwork, but they were all three artists. The middle one was Eugene and that's who she married. Here we have Edward, excuse me, Eugene Manet, and this was painted by Mr. Degas. He's most infamous, you can see a signature right down here, for the dancers. Remember, Degas, D for dancers, but this is of Miss Morizot's husband. So, lots of connections going on this week, and so I just wanted to spend a little extra time helping you understand the movement that was going on and how this wasn't just one person, but this was a collective group of artists really pushing things that were different during the time and how they all kind of worked together. So now where did her timeline card go? There we go. So there we have Miss Beth Morizo, and you can check out the video for how to execute the art project of combining these two portraits together.